welcome to my bathroom. So I thought I would do the highly requested skincare routine for you guys. So a lot of people have been asking for this and my skincare, just a disclaimer, changes all the time and so not crazy though, it doesn't like change all at once but it does kind of alternate here and there sometimes so I thought I would do a skincare routine and now that I feel like my skincare routine is kind of a bit more set in stone it may change here and there because I do like to experiment with skincare so the first thing I like to go in with is an oil cleanser just while my skin is dry this way I can rub all the makeup off gently this is the Hippich oil cleanser it's a Japanese brand I picked this up during my Japan trip and I got it for five dollars at the drugstore and it was so incredibly cheap but effective and I just fell in love with it it really helps to get rid of all my waterproof makeup eyeliner lip everything off so all I do is grab some clean hands and I basically squeeze out a generous one and a half to two pumps depending on how much I need and I basically warm it up in the palm of my hands and then I just go in <laughs> with my ring finger so just this finger I gently do a circular motion around my under eyes and my eyelids to really get rid of all that eye makeup out. As you can see, I am breaking out. Sometimes I go down to my neck as well. You guys know the drool. I'm just going to wash this off with lukewarm water. Okay, so now that I've removed all my makeup, I want to make sure that my face is extra clean. So I'm gonna go in with this cleanser. It is just a regular, not too foaming type cleanser. I find that when it's too foamy, it strips my skin of its natural oils and it becomes too dehydrating, which is not good because I also have quite dehydrated, dry sensitive skin. I used to have really oily skin, but then I went on so many treatments and so many um, medication and things like that for my acne, my hormonal and I guess adolescent acne that my face is now just dehydrated and dry. So I'm gonna go in with this. And I'm gonna rub it into the palm of my hands. Try not to make a mess too much, but you guys get the idea. So I just rub this all over in circular motions all over my face and my neck as well. <laughs> and now I look very ghostly. You guys know the drill. I'm just gonna wash this off. Okay. I am back and I look super white. I think it's probably because of lockdown and the fact that it's winter. I just have not been getting any sun. But anyways, my face is completely wet and damp. So what I like to do, I used to do this thing where I used to grab tissue paper and just blot my face. But I found that to be quite wasteful. So what I do instead is I grab a towel. I just pat dry the orifices of my face, my eye area, my nose, my mouth and also my neck and I basically leave the rest of my face kind of damp and I just let it air dry so that it is prepped and primed for my skincare routine so the first thing I like to do is focus on serums and the two that I'm using at the moment is this vitamin C serum and this um, resurfacing serum which is an acid based serum by Otzi I do like these serums because I feel like it just helps to even at my skin tone, really prevent dullness, especially because I sleep so late. And also maybe help with my acne, but I don't know about that. It's been quite bad lately. I go in with the vitamin C serum. I squeeze out a generous pump. So maybe two pumps, I would say. <laughs> I think I'm at the end. I use any kind of vitamin C, to be honest. I think vitamin C is just something you need in your routine. It doesn't matter what vitamin C you use, they all kind of work the same in my opinion. Anyways, I use whatever's left on my face. Hey! Oh gosh! We got some out. There we go. So it's a very 
pretty baby pink color. So I use this vitamin C serum all over my face. I let that air dry a little bit and then I go in with the acid. I grab maybe one pump. I kind of spot treat the areas a little bit. So I go in this area, especially this hairline area. I don't know what's going on there. The mask area, those areas are quite bad. As you guys can see, I am breaking out. So I thought that this would be perfect to show you guys what I do in terms of combating pesky breakouts. It just sucks. So yeah, that's basically what I do for serums. So I use the vitamin C more so for brightening my dull complexion. And then I go with the acid serum, kind of like a spot treatment just on the areas where I'm breaking out, which at the moment is my hairline, my eyebrow, the top of my eyebrow, and the mouth area where the mask usually sits and a lot of condensation happens, a lot of, you know, bacteria build up and clogged pores, especially because you have a physical barrier around your mouth area. So I've got to treat those pesky pimples. Now the next step I focus on is heavily on hydration. Cause like I said earlier, I do have dehydrated, sensitive and dry skin. And that is attributed to the copious amounts of medication and acne treatments that I've tried all throughout my life because of pesky hormonal and adolescent acne and also stress induced acne. So this is the Tossa Wound Propolis Buckle Ampule. This one has 80% propolis extract, which is great for sensitive skin. It's antibacterial. I also use natural honey as an antibacterial mask. It also has some lime extract, which helps to brighten your complexion. So I just go in with one massive pipette drop. So about that much. And I apply it all over my face and then down to my neck and decolletage and everything. I already feel way more hydrated just with that. So next step is moisturizer. It's the Cosrx Overnight Rice Mask. Now this is meant to be a mask, but I feel like it actually isn't that intense to be a mask. It's more of a hydrating moisturizer. Maybe for me because I have dry skin, but I basically use this as a normal everyday moisturizer for day and night time. <laughs> So I really pack on the moisture. What I really like about this moisturizer is the fact that it's just so lightweight. I know it's meant to be a mask, but for me, it's really lightweight and it doesn't cause any breakouts. It doesn't make me feel like I, my pores are clogged because that's something that I am very careful about is that I don't want to clog my pores. It's kind of become a holy grail moisturizer for me, really. So my holy grail oil has been this Asana rose hip oil. I love this rose hip oil because it has antioxidants in there. It really helps to fight free radicals. It just really locks everything in. It's a really good hydrator and emollient all in one. It really does the job that it's meant to. So I just squeeze out maybe two to three drops of this thing. Warm it in the palm of my hands just to get the oil kind of active so that it can spread evenly all over my skin. So I like to go with my dread roller. There's two different sides to it. There's a smaller side and there's a larger stone side. So the larger stone side I like to use on my larger areas, larger surface areas of my face, so that be my cheekbones, um, along my neck. Just do really quick up and down motions, but really focusing on that upward motion so that it defies gravity and lifts everything up and just helps me remain young forever. <laughs> and then I take the smaller side for smaller areas or crevices around my face. So that be my under eyes, my nose area, and in between my brows. There's a lot of tension in this area, so I don't know if it's really improving circulation, but the whole point for me is to just induce a meditative state so that I'm ready for bed um, and I don't feel stressed. I feel like skincare routine, if you treat it as such, it can really be a form of therapy. It can really help you to de-stress and unwind after a really long day. Even if you haven't had a long day, a lot of the times you're processing so many thoughts and executive decisions in one day. 
that it takes its toll on you and your skin is your largest organ so it obviously takes a toll on your skin last and final step is a mask so I use this heavy moisturizer as a nighttime mask for my face this hydro crystal cream and it is a very heavy gel consistency I basically just spread it all over my face neck and everything and as you can see it is kind of a thick-ish gel consistency so I just like to go all over my face the reason why I do this mask on top of my oil is because I actually like to seal in all my skincare benefits and the mask is more of just an occlusive film around all of my skincare it's really just to make sure that the actives are working and that everything is just staying put and just is staying where it needs to be which is penetrating into my skin the other thing I do is I go in with lip balm so I don't do this every night but I try to so it's this Laneige Sleep Sleeping Mask that I've used for ever now. One other thing that I do, especially when I'm breaking out, because what's happening right now is putting tea tree oil on my pimples. So I basically just spot treat the areas that need a little bit of extra care. I'm using just this random tea tree oil from the pharmacy and it cost me barely anything and it lasts me forever. It's lasted me a year or two now, so that's all I do. And voila, that's it. That is my nighttime skincare routine. I feel so cleansed, so depuffed, and I feel so zen right now. I just, I could go, you know, drink some tea or hot water, grab a book, and just head to bed. This is basically what I do in terms of my nighttime skincare routine. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. I hope it was somewhat helpful and if it was, please let me know down below and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Please don't forget to like, subscribe and also hit that notification bell button down below if you guys want to help me get out and check out some more videos. That's pretty much it for me. I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!